Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the another operator. This is a transformation operator that is can. If you go to the operators list, if I go to the operators list, so here you will be able to see hey, we have learned about the join creation operators. Now we have completed this creation operators also. Some of the operators are left out in the transformation operators. Out of this, uh, one is this scan operator. Where is the scan operator? If you try go top and bottom, yeah, here you will be able to see the scan operator. So what is this scan operator? Scan operator. So this is the one operator which maintains the state. That means what uh, what what is the previous value that is emitted by the observable? It maintains the state. So that is the main thing in the scan operator so useful for encaps encapsulating and managing the state state means so remembers the previously emitted data applies an accumulator <coughs> accumulator means nothing but a reducer function which you learn in the ngrx and redux and all those things vx we are all able to learn right reducer function means so it remembers the data to each value from the source after initial state is established either via a seed value or from the first value from the source so that means what it what they are trying to say is this can operator whenever the source value is emitted uh, whenever the source observable emits a value it will be passed through the function in which the function okay got performs some logic with an accumulator accumulator means nothing but an initial state so default value if it is any default value is provided then that with the default value it performs some logic and it will return the value in return that return value is again saved in the accumulator so that is the thing they are trying to say here you will be able to see that a syntax can you will be having one accumulator it's a nothing but it's a function and also the current emulated a current emitted value will be able to have and the seed is the default value so at the first time when the source emit uh, source observable starts emitting the data what is the accumulator default value we need to take so that is a seed value it is a function that will be called called for each value after an initial state is acquired seed means default value <coughs> So if, if a default value is not provided means the first value from the source will be used as the initial state and emitted throughout going through the accumulator. All subsequent values will be processed by the accumulator function. If this is provided all values go, will go through the accumulator function. Now here let us try to see the marble diagram then you will try to understand the scan operator very easily. See this is one of the confusing operator, operator in the RxJS. So let us try to see. Here we are having a source observable which is emitting the value 1, 3 and 5 and these values are passed through the scan operator. So when these values are passed through the scan operator, first one is passed through the scan operator. Scan operator. Now if you try to see, here you are having one, one reducer function. Reducer function is nothing but a function. So it has a two parameters, accumulator and the current value. And here we are doing the accumulator plus the current value. Okay, the logic is performed here. And this is a seed value, zero. So that means when one is, one is passed through the scan operator, the one value will be stored in the current variable. And later on, this accumulator default value, if it is provided the second parameter, 0 is provided, right? That 0 will be the default value for this accumulator. Now, if you try to see 0 plus current value is the 1, which is emitted the value. So, 0 plus 1 is 1. So, that will be emitted to the source of 0. Right now, now this accumulator, whatever the value emitted here, so written value will be stored in the accumulator again. Now, when 3 is passed here, now the accumulator value will be the previously emitted result. So, that is nothing but 1. So 1 will be the accumulator, now current value is 3, now 1 plus 3 it will become 4 and this 4 will be emitted. Now this emitted value 4 will be saved in the accumulator again. Now when 5 is emitted here, so previous value is 4 right, 4 plus 5 that will be 9, here 9 is emitted. So the often it will call the complete. <coughs> Whatever the previous value emitted by the scan operator will be stored as an accumulator. That is the main thing you need to remember. So this operator maintains an internal state, so it will maintain internal state and emits it after processing each value as follows. First value arise. If a seed value is provided, if a default value is provided, so then it will take the default value and it will emit the value. If no seed value is provided means then the first value will be taken as the <coughs> accumulator. So it will pass to the accumulator. If error is thrown by the accumulator means then it will go through go to the error and emit the state. Next value arise, then let value it will go to the second. Same thing repeats. So whatever we have discussed the same thing repeats here. So let us try to see a sample example so that you will try to get a clear picture about this one. Now if I try to go here, let us try to create a scan operator. So let it create, by that time what I will try to do is operators, not uh, ts, operators.html file. I am op opening this operators.html file. Here I will add scan. So here I will add scan 
and let's go to the <coughs> app routing and in this app routing what i will try to do is scan and here i can write scan operator component right that's it now what i will try to do is let's go to the scan operator component.ts file and in this ts file what i will try to do here let's take the source value something like of it is an observable of of 1 comma 2 comma 3 same thing now source dollar dot pipe i want to pass it through the scan operator if i want to pass it through the scan operator and here you will be having as we already discussed first one will be accumulator and second one will be in value and here i will do accumulator plus value the same thing what we have discussed now default value i will pass it as zero default value means first time the accumulator accumulator value will be zero and do the logic and i am doing dot subscribe data will be console dot log data now let's try to see the output what will be the output here the expected output will be in a such a way that first time one will be passed to here so value current value value will have the current value and accumulator first will be the 0, 0 plus 1, 1. So, the first output will be the 1. Now, the accumulator will be updated to the 1 value. Now, when the 2 value comes here, 1 plus 2, 3. Now, the output will be 3. And here, when 3 comes here, value 3 and 3, 3 plus 3, 6. So, the output should be something like 6. So, this is the expected output. Let us try, let's try to see the output here. <coughs> if I go to the operators and if I go to the scan and here you will be able to see this 1, 3, 6. So, this is this is how we will be able to get the up, update. Now, if you want to have, so you can do something like, like this also. I can show you the output also if you want. I will return this accumulator plus value and here I will do result okay, plus data and here I will do console.log. accumulator value accumulator acc and also i want to console current value also okay current value we will see how the accumulator is getting updated and how the current value we are getting let's try to see it in the output if we try to see the first time accumulator is zero so as we know that it is a default value and current value is 1, 1 is emitted and the result value is 1, 0 plus 1, 1. Now, the accumulator has been updated to with the result 1 value and the current value we are getting through the observable is 2 and the result is 3. Then the accumulator is again updated to 3, the current value we are getting it as 3 and the result is getting 6 updated. So, if any other value is present means then accumulator will be updated to 6. So, this is how <coughs> actually the scan operator will work. The scan, the accumulator whatever the value written the previous value so previous emitted value will remember in the accumulator so that if you want to do any logic with the previously emitted value means you can do using the scan operator so using the scan operator we can also print the fibonacci series also let's try to see i will try to show you so for example let's say that i have an interval okay so it will emit for every thousand and i will try to pass it through the scan operator okay if I want to pass it through the scan operator, so let us try to interval and let us take. <coughs> so, here what we can say is the diff. Uh, so, we will be having something like accumulator and value, right? So, we will be having accumulator and value, or otherwise, what I can do is so let first Fibonacci numbers is equal to so I will take 0, comma 1. And here I can do scan, scan operator and here I can remove this one also. We are getting confused here. So, it is showing some errors. Yeah. Scan operator. So, I will take this time only the accumulator. So, A comma B. So, array it will be an array. So, I will show you. So, array. So, it will be something like B comma A plus B. So, why I have taken is arrays. I am providing the seed value as <coughs> first Fibonacci this one this array so first time so the accumulator will be an array so that is the reason i am taking the accumulator as an array and i am updating that accumulator with the b comma a plus b 
now what i will try to do here as this one is this uh, <coughs> operator i will go through the map operator and in this map operator i will take again the ab you will getting the output as ab right and i will take only the a and b so i will take only the b operator okay now i will subscribe to this one now i will be subscribing to this one so what yeah map operator is not present i think we need to yeah now i will subscribe to this one so when i subscribe to this data so let's try to do the console.log of data now what could be the output let's try to see if i try to see the output here you will be able to see the output in a such a way that <coughs> so we are getting 1 2 3 5 see 2 plus 3 5 3 plus 5 8 5 plus 8 13 8 plus 13 21 so like this it, the fibonacci series are going on printing but at the first we need to get 0 and 1 right so 0 and 1 if you want to print you can directly print this one so we can use operator something like start with so we already discussed about the start with and i can pass spread operator and this one that's it oh sorry now let's try to see what happened here yeah now let's try to see the output if i try to see this output see here 0 1 0 plus uh, 1 1 and 1 plus 1 2 and 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 3 5 so these are the fibonacci series we are successfully printed the same fibonacci series using this scan operator so hope you understood about this scan operator just blindly remember that scan operator it maintains the state that nothing but what i can say is it maintains the emitted data whatever the previously emitted value it will remember that one and it will store it in the accumulator and if you want to do some logic between with the previously emitted value means then you can do the logic with the scan operator hope you understood about the scan operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you